So if we readily accept that we are alone in the all, that's the universe. That's whatever may be beyond the universe, what came before the universe, what is after the universe, what is the universe, what may, all that. It is us and it is God, or it is just us, right? We are unique and exclusive with the thought of being. Not all that exists, and there are many life forms, but they are so unimportant, right? That's what we believe. I think they're dumb and that which they do, they do because they are only built to do such. Ah, oh, but we're exclusive. We are different. Because we can speak to our exclusivity. The fact that we can say that it is us and it is them. Because we know us, we are better than them. So we accept that, we'll, we'll take that. So, but the question is there. It's not the question so much, it's the answer. Because the answer is it itself, it's just that it's there. And then it's, you can't get to it unless you look for it, unless you ask for it. So you must ask a question. But it's there. If this is such, if this is the truth, man, shouldn't we respect it more than what we are currently doing? If we are saying we are unique, there are none like this. You take us away, and there is no thought. There is nothing that is sink. There is nothing that is sink. Stuff is there, but nothing is seen, and, and there's nothing that is aware of its existence. So there's blindness. There's nothingness. But once you had a mind to see, why well, didn't you see it? But the question is, because the answer's there. What does it mean that we don't see it at all? What is there still yet to see? Are we fully awake? Well, if we put it in terms of the, the brain-mind usage, then no. For we don't control our brain, and we at best struggle to control our mind. <laughs> or we just thinking of the fact that we are a robot. We are the AI, we are the thinking robots. We think of our robotic behavior and we think within it. Some of us don't admit to it. The truth is there. At the least you are robotic to the way of God and what you must do. You cannot escape from what it is that you must do by way of God. So in that sense, you are a robot. You are controlled. You are constrained. You have no freedom beyond the will of God. And His will is everything. Even when you can say that He isn't willing it to be, by way of His allowance, it is happening within Him. It is by His will of existence and being that anything is even occurring. So it is occurring by His will. No matter what within the constraints and con confinement and all that of what is allowed to do, where is allowed to move, what is allowed to be. It is within the bounds of God. So, 
We think, therefore, we are. <laughs> but what are we? Full mind and being. Full being. That's just mind. What is the proof of the need of the body for thought? Well, we don't need the body. The true necessity of being of the brain. And it's just chemicals and movement, electricity. But it is something that's deeper than that. For we could expand the mind literally and figuratively. We could expand it. We can break it apart to the atomic level and then, and then expand it out. Have the atoms of the mind expand out to the very reaches of the universe. To as far as it can go. We can get there. Because there is a limit, there is a bound. You can get there. Shoot it there. And then what they know is just the connections, the electricity is, is stronger, so it connects. The universe becomes a mind. So then, once it becomes the mind, once the universe becomes aware, what does it become aware of? That which is there which it is in, it is in something. It is within God. It is within truth.